Hi friends this is fourth part of developing of live chat application using PHP with Ajax jQuery and in this part we will discuss display of user status online and offline on web page. For this we have go to index page and make one function like update last activity function, this function will send Ajax request for update login user last activity data into login details table. Under this function we have write Ajax request and under this request first we have write URL option set to update last activity dot PHP page, here we have send request to this page. After this we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully. Now we have go to update last activity dot php page, and here we have write include statement with database connection dot php page, it will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write session start function, this function will start session on this page. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to update login details table set last activity table column value set to now function where login details id is equal to dollar session login details id variable. This is update query which update login user last activity data time data based on login details ID which has get from this dollar session login details ID variable which has been generated at the time of login into system. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute update query which will update login user last activity data into login details table. We want to update this data on some interval of time for check user is login or not into system for this we have go to index page. Here we have write set interval method and under this method we have write callback function and under this function we have called update last activity function and in second argument we have write 5000. So, this function will be called every 5 seconds, so every 5 seconds user last activity data will be updated into login details table. Same way here we have also called fetch user function, so on every 5 second it will refresh user data on web page. Now we have go to fetch user.php page for display status of user, so here we have write dollar status is equal to blank value. After this we have write dollar current time stamp variable is equal to string to time function with two argument like date function with date time format and in second argument we have write minus 10 seconds. Here we will get Unix time in seconds and from this time it will minus 10 seconds which we have store under dollar current time stamp variable, now we want to convert the seconds into date and time format. So here we have write dollar current time stamp variable is equal to date function with date and time format and in second argument we have write dollar current time stamp variable. This code will convert Unix time into date and time format which we have store under dollar current time stamp variable. 
Now we want to get particular user last activity data, for this we have go to database connection.php file and here we have make fetch user last activity function with two argument like dollar user id variable and dollar connect variable. Under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from login details table where user id is equal to dollar user id variable and order by last activity in descending order limit 1. This select query will fetch particular user login details details from login details table and it will only fetch last inserted records. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute select query. After query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will fetch data and store under dollar result variable. Now we have write for each loop with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using for each loop we will fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write return statement with dollar $row last activity variable, this is the output of this function which return last activity data. Now we have go to dollar $user last activity variable is equal to fetch user last activity function with argument like dollar $row user id variable and dollar $connect variable. This function will return last activity data which we have store under dollar user last activity variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar user last activity variable value greater than dollar current time stamp variable value. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code that means user is online otherwise it will execute else block of code that means user is offline. Suppose above condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar status variable is equal to online. But suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar status variable is equal to offline. Now in second table data tag here we have write dollar status variable, it will display online status of user login into system or not. Friends here we have login as John Smith username and currently we cannot see user status in table, so now we have refresh page, after refresh of page we can see offline status of all user. Now in another browser we have login as Peter Parker, after login as Peter Parker, here we can see John Smith status online in green color. Same way in John Smith window now we can see Peter Parker offline status has been changed to online, so this way we can display current status of user online or offline. In next part we will discuss how can we make dynamic chat dialog box for each user for chat with each other. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, Please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also.
If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.